good people. Hope you're all enjoying this weather. I'm enjoying it so much that I had a, a bit of an extreme haircut. Because none of the hair dresses are open at the moment, it's um, difficult to cut your hair. So I borrowed some clippers from a friend. I didn't think it was going to go this short, but it's quite handy because it's nice weather. It um, keeps me cool <laughs> and it will grow back quite soon. Um, right, I wanted to talk about planting tomatoes. This is really the last chance to uh, plant tomatoes so that they have enough time to ripen throughout the rest of the season. Hopefully we'll get some fantastic weather because I'm going to plant um, these vine cherry tomato seeds and what I did is I just took out a few seeds from two of these, ended up with about uh, just over 30, 35 to 40 seeds and um, I've just planted them in some um, seed compost, John Innes seed compost. Um, I just put them on the surface and then I just sprinkled a little bit of um, extra compost on top. And also, um, I'm a bit late with planting these this year, but my, um, my courgettes, I did so well with them last year. I had so many courgettes, I think I was annoying people by giving them to people. <laughs> but I use them a lot in my, um, in my style of cooking because I cook many curries. And you can, I don't eat any meat, I'm pretty much vegan apart from occasionally honey but so I use uh, I use courgettes rather a lot in my cooking the uh, garden's looking quite good in the background there I've got the um, lovely broad beans there coming on quite well I've saved all my oat milk containers to plant my um, courgettes and I'm going to plant two courgette seeds in each one uh, in each corner but when you plant these courgette seeds don't plant them flat plant them so that the water can um, drain off them and then they won't go rotten it's one of the most important things so I'm going to put it into one of these now just to show you just like that and just put it in the corner you can fit two into a container like this you can fit two in and then you can just separate them before they get too big because then the roots will start intertwining I mean, ideally, it'd be better to plant them separately in, in separate cells, but I haven't actually got them at the moment. So I'm just using what I can. Uh, and this is what I drink, uh, this organic um, oat milk. It's really delicious. My broad bean plants are looking really good, really healthy. And then my monge too have come up a few days ago. And what I'll do is I'll tie some string around those bamboo supports so that I can train the Mange 2 up the support there. I love Mange 2, they're really nice and uh, crunchy when you put them in salads. And uh, my red onion sets that I planted a while ago, I find that always there's a few that are a bit late to come up, but I'm expecting to see them um, in the next week. Uh, occasionally you get one that doesn't come up but not often because you check them before you plant them to see if they're soft and there we have the radishes as well they're always quite good fun to grow because they grow so quickly uh, and uh, and they're good for kids especially there's my wildlife pond it was an ornamental pond but there's tadpoles in there now look and uh, Frogs are always welcome in the garden, they're a gardener's friend, definitely. And we have a bit of an Africa theme going on. We have elephants, a gorilla on the right. We have a hippopotamus by the side of the water. And of course, the Lion King. Halfway through May when the times of frost has passed, I think my jumper's smoking a wash. <laughs> 